going to show you a fun trick on how to use your Mio XM like an IAC driver. If you've ever used the IAC driver before, you normally go into your audio MIDI setup. Uh, you have this little one, little red option here in the MIDI studio. Click on it, turn it online, and uh, you can create as many buses as you want. You can give it a device name, all that kind of good stuff. But it doesn't always play well with certain softwares, plugins, that kind of different thing. Um, basically what it's used for is to loop back MIDI. So basically it's able to send out your MIDI data and then send it back in. Now this could be from one program to another program. So I could send from Ableton into Logic, for example, or this could be something like Ableton coming back into Ableton. So you could send out of one track and send into another. Um, many people are using this for tracks uh, to automate different options so once you get to a certain section it can trigger a marker um, those types of things so let's look at how to set this up so there's two ways to do this uh, I'm going to show you first over RTP uh, MIDI in this video and then I'll also do another video on how to do it over USB with uh, Mio XM so let's kind of jump into it so basically what we want to do is we want to go into our DAW and we're going to set it up so that you're gonna send out, you send MIDI out uh, to this RTP session, to a network session on your computer, connect it to an RTP port, and then it's gonna come back in on another one. So let's do that. So let's go here and we'll right click and we'll insert a MIDI clip and let's just put in a few notes. Just completely ignore the notes that I'm putting in. As you can see, they're very random. Um, so I'm going to put those in, and we're going to send the output of this track, MIDI track one, into MIDI track two, just so you can see it actually working. So for the setup, we're going to need to go into our audio MIDI setup. I just went to Spotlight Search, and if this window doesn't open automatically, you just want to go to Window and then Show MIDI Studio. I'm already there. Then we're going to want to open the network configuration page. So it could look like this little globe up here in the top bar, or it could be down here like this as a globe if you have an older Mac OS version. So we're going to click on that. Now, this is the first time you've done this with your computer. Uh, there's a few different things you'll need to note. Uh, you will need to change this who may connect to me. Uh, you can see it's set up by default to only computers in my directory. We're going to want to set that up as anyone. So you can see it's grayed out right now. In order to change that, we just need to create a session. And you can see it became available. And we just click on it and anyone. And that's the first thing we need to set. So what we're going to do now that we've created a section, we can call this whatever we want. Um, so I'm going to call this RTP loopback. RTP loopback. So that. And then once you're done putting in the bones of your name, make sure to click somewhere on the page outside of it. If you don't, what will ha often happen is it'll default back to the, whatever name was in there first. Um, so just click outside of that. And depending on which version of Mac OS you have, you might have an activate button up here or an active button up here. But if not, you can always go over to my sessions right here and click this little box checkbox and that'll activate the session. So now what we need to do is we need to connect an RTP port to this um, so that I can send in and out through the XM. So let's go to Oracle X. We're going to go to our Mio XM. And I'm just going to use the last port because the last port is usually the least used. Um, so the RTP port 12 here is usually uh, default routed to host 10, which most people aren't using, or host 8, sorry. Most people aren't using all eight host ports. So. First thing we want to do is we want to switch it from responder to initiator. If you don't know why you want to do that, uh, you can check out some of the other videos. Um, but basically it makes auto connection with your computer every time it starts up. So what we need is we need the bonus your name uh, to go into this field. You can also use IP, but we're going to use bonus your name because it's easier. And let me bring this up. And we want to copy this bonus your name right here. This into here, I'm gonna paste it and then click save, and it should make a connection. If 
you're wondering if it made a connection, it's going to have the information on the side here showing the connection. You can also go back to your network here and you should see a participant on this side. All right, so now that that's set up, that's all we need to do as far as set up with the pretty much all we need to do with the uh, network side of things. So we're going to go back on your MIUI XM. I'm going to go to MIDI routing. I'm going to scroll down to the RTP MIDI section here in the left column. We're going to click on RTP 12. And I don't want it to go into host 8 anymore. So anytime I send the host 12, I want it to come back in on host 12. Because host 12 is the only thing connected to the network session. So basically we're going to send it to the network session and it's going to come right back. Uh, and that's all we want to do. Uh, anytime you make changes on your XM, go to presets, hit save. I like to save to all presets because the XM has touch buttons on the front. And if you're in a situation where you don't want other people touching your stuff, it might be uh, beneficial to save all the same options. All right, so now that's, that, that's done, we just need to go in and configure our ports in Ableton. So we're gonna go to our first track. We wanna send it out to that network port that we created. So we're gonna go down and you can see it's already got track for the input uh, named here, but we want the output of the track. And we're gonna take an input of the track as well because we wanna take it out to that RTP loopback and we wanna take it back in on the other track. So we might as well have both of those going. So let's go to output. We're gonna to send to network RTP loopback. And this one, we're gonna go RTP loopback. So if I arm both these tracks and we play, I'll close down the second one here. Let's, you can see it'll actually record the information out from the first one to the end of the second one. So you can see I got the uh, got the uh, what is it d3 is the first note and we have d3 as the first note recorded into the second track so you can see that worked so that's great for doing things like I said you can go out of a uh, out of a track and have it trigger um, you know something to go to a locator or you can go to the set button or next locators you can do stop start whatever you want um, but this will work in place of the IAC driver and you're, all you're doing is just using the RTP network, um, which in my experience has been very solid in doing this loop back this way. If you have any questions though, feel free to contact us and let us know. Um, also stay tuned for the USB version of this exact same trick.